On any other day, River Road in the town of Lysander is a quiet scenic ride along the Seneca River. This is not any other day. Ever since a sewer line broke on Saturday, crews with Onondaga County's Department of Water Environment Protection have been working feverishly day and night non-stop. This pump house handles some 800,000 gallons of sewage each day. So in order to prevent that sewage from entering the Seneca River right across the street, they've been bringing in trucks to pump it out and take it away. It's a large scale project. Truck after truck after truck make their way to the site of the broken sewer line as traffic is restricted around the work zone. The county is hiring just about every company with a license to haul sewage, even the smaller household septic cleaning companies like Aces 4 to help out. Terrible thing that happened. I mean, it's, it's been going into the river. We don't need that, but uh -huh. you know, hopefully they're going to take care of it as, as soon as possible. This weekend, officials put out a reverse 911 call to people in the area, warning them of the unsanitary conditions and advising them to avoid swimming, boating and fishing in a part of the river extending for a full mile downstream. County Water Environment Commissioner Tom Rhodes says because of heavy rain last night, about 100,000 gallons of untreated sewage got into the river. John Baker is keeping his dog, Dutch, on a leash to prevent him from taking a swim. We have to keep our septic system flowing. So as it comes in, you gotta, you gotta take it out. So and better in the trucks than in the river. Many neighbors are concerned about how the sewer line break could affect the ecology of the Seneca River. I just came from uh, Phoenix, actually, and standing at the locks there, and yeah. thinking about, you know, what the pollution could do. While people I talk with are grateful that the county is doing what it can to protect the river, they're anxious for things to return to normal.